<clears throat> thank you. Thank you, Dean Golgeyer, and thank you, President Kerwin, Provost Bass, and the distinguished faculty at American University School of International Service who are here today. Thank you to all of the families and friends who have joined us to mark this incredible occasion. It is an honor to be here today. Congratulations, class of 2014. Woo! After four years of lectures, four years of class discussions, four years of research papers, and four years of coffee-induced insomniac nights in the library, we have come together to celebrate our accomplishments and reflect upon the ways in which we have grown. It is remarkable to think that just four years ago, we were walking into SIS full of dreams and anxieties. We have learned so much since those first days, and each of us has undertaken a tremendous journey at SIS to arrive here today, a new point of embarkation. Reflecting on my journey, I realize SIS has taught me to question, to consciously, sorry, reflect on my journey, I, re I realize SIS has taught me to question, to consciously release myself from things that I have hung on to. This is my story of becoming a stranger. I came to SIS with goals that I would develop all the professional skills I needed to represent the Hindu voice in US foreign policy. But in a region in South Asia, with thousands of years of civilization, conquest, colonialism, and partition, history is complex, murky, and dangerous. Whose story was I telling? And whose was I leaving behind? At the same time, I was aware that I was Indian and American. As a member of a minority community in America, I was expected and pressured to represent this community. I felt torn between needing to represent my community and knowing what it meant to be South Asian. How could I represent something that I couldn't even fathom or understand? I was torn by feelings of responsibility and feelings of uncertainty. Feeling lost, I sought refuge in reading Todorov's Conquest of America in Professor Patrick Thaddeus Jackson's World Politics course. I read, a man who finds his country sweet is only a raw beginner. The man for whom the, each country is already his own is already strong. But a man for whom the whole world is a foreign country is perfect. I read and reread those lines. The man for whom the whole world is a foreign country is perfect. Foreigner, videshi, de conocido, stranger. When a stranger encounters a strange land, she is forced to humility. She must ask to find her way. Being a stranger is not easy. Being a stranger requires that we accept not only uncertainty, but also humility. For example, during my sophomore year in Ambassador Akbar Ahmed's World of Islam class, I had class with a student in the ROTC program who had diametrically opposed worldviews to my own. In class, we were discussing the politics and identity in post 9-11 America. The subject was very close to my heart because I was living this experience. In recent years, Sikh, Muslim, and Hindu communities have suffered hate crimes, and I, as a Hindu American, sat on the sidelines and watched horrified. Our conflicting views turned into intense, explosive arguments. We were both locked into a conflict that rose from what we imagined the other to be. We could not hear each other, so we turned to the text that we were discussing in class. And in that moment, we became strangers. 
by analyzing the text, we spoke the same language. Quite suddenly I realized, just because I was talking to someone in a uniform does not mean I was talking to a uniform. The man underneath it was as dynamic and human as I was. We were not trying to solve our differences. We were confronting them. Pedagogical environments lead us to certain kinds of estrangement. SIS did not solve my identity or anyone else's. SIS helped me to dwell into the ambiguity of who we are. Estrangement is no fairy tale ending, an easy casting away of differences. Estrangement is for a single moment in the classroom while wrestling with the common text, confronting humanity in the other without dissolving the otherness of the other. SIS helped me to recognize humanity. Humanity is not a singular collective, but a dynamic, organic, fervent, and beautiful force. I recognized humanity at SIS through going deeper and deeper into my own identity and confronting myself. I was only able to do that when I became a stranger. So go. Go out and interrogate your worldview. What makes us SIS students is our ability to question. Service is facilitating voices of estrangement. Service is recognizing humanity through humility. The service we bring to the rest of the world is figuring out the questions for everyone to see, and that is enough. I have come to terms that perhaps I will never resolve my conflict of being Indian, American, and Hindu. I have come to terms that this is only the beginning. By studying my own identity, I have realized that I am a series of questions I will spend the rest of my life figuring out. So if there is one lesson I will give to you today, it is to reject simple historical narratives. Cast it away. Learn to be a stranger to it. It does not mean that we do not have a heritage, a home, or an identity. We are not bound or constrained by the chains that ascribe us through guilt. It doesn't make you any less human. My journey did not make me any less of a Hindu. My incessant questioning of identity makes me even more proud to call myself a Hindu. Thank you faculty for spending countless hours cultivating our minds. Thank you for all my members, sorry, all my mentors in the audience who have given me the confidence to keep asking questions. Thank you, Amma and Appa, my mother and father, and my wonderful sister, Monica, for trusting me to find my voice. I will not let you down. Thank you. American University School of International Service for letting me tell my story today. Thank you.